All right, welcome back, True Seeker. Been doing a little more research, so we're going to talk about some historical things, and then we're also going to talk about what's buzzing in the news. We're going to go back and look at the twin bombings blamed on Al-Qaeda in eastern Africa on August 7th, 98, of course, before the Twin Towers came down, blamed on Al-Qaeda. We're also going to go back and look at the USS coal bombing that happened in between those two events, also blamed on Al-Qaeda. And you'll see that there's a very clear parallel between all three events. Of course, in the news today, Bulgaria and Poland, they were cut off by Russia for natural gas. And it's funny that yesterday, Putin made this announcement, which just happened to be 201 days after his birthday. As we know, that's the number of the Jesuits. That's the number of Agenda 21, which is all about energy. And here you have another big energy 201 ritual. Never forget, after 9-11, two towers became zero, became one, and then gas prices doubled pretty much overnight. And um, also in the headlines, uh, uh, a military conflict in Darfur. They're saying 201 people died yesterday. Go figure. But um, also in the news, Trevor Reed, U.S. American captured on the Jesuit order's birthday in Russia, reportedly freed today. We'll look more at that. Neo the Hacker caught something interesting about Interstate 35 construction beginning in 56. We'll also talk about that. And uh, Anthony Fauci said the pandemic's officially over yesterday on the first day of the 111th week of the pandemic. And he said, make sure you go out and get your vaccination. And what do you know? A anyway, let's go back in time to... August 7th, 98, the twin bombings of the two towers in Eastern Africa. I, I want you to see the parallels here with 9-11. And the towns that were bombed, or where the U.S. embassies were, that were, they were in the towns of Dar es Salaam and Nairobi. And I want you to notice something about the names of these towns. Two numbers we talk, well, actually really more than two, but there's two numbers we talk about a lot with the World Trade Centers. Notice how Dar es Salaam is 94, and look at how Nairobi is 68. And as we know, the word terror is 94 and 68. And again, with regards to the parallels to 9-11, the World Trade Centers opened on the 94th day in 1973. Construction began on those towers in 1968. The same year 911 was made the National Emergency Dialing Code again. The same year George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones from his birthday to the 911 68, plus everything else. Just so many 68s and 94s with 911. And then, of course, when you write out World Trade Center, it's also 94. And it's also 77. And you'll notice Dar es Salaam also has the 77. And when you write out September 11th, it's 77. And again, this is how the federal government operates because it's controlled by the Jesuits who lay down these number rituals with every event that they're responsible for because they're into Kabbalah where this code comes from. And so you got to say, what are the odds? Twin bombings, right, by Al-Qaeda a few years before the Twin Towers. And then the date they did it, August 7th, the majority of the world writes that date 7-8. And, of course, New York is 78. In that same cipher, Jesuit is 78. The Jesuit Masonic motto, Order Out of Chaos, is 78. So, again, what are the odds? And then to point it out further, Nairobi, where the other attack happened, we talked about the 68. Notice it also has the 41 in the name. Remember, September 11th, 2001 happened on a date with 41 numerology. Al-Qaeda also has the 41. They said the majority of the hijackers were from Saudi Arabia, which is 41. And, of course, so is US USA and so is AT&T. AT&T made 911, the National Emergency Dialing Code, in 68. We'll talk about Oklahoma City in a mil minute. That bombing happened while the AT&T building was 68 years old, which overlooks the site. But, um, yeah, th those are the main points with the twin bombings in, in Nairobi and Kenya, coding the 68 and 94 predominantly, the numbers all over the World Trade Centers, the numbers of terror. And the other thing you could say is truck bombs, because it was two truck bombs that supposedly went off. They both have the 124 connection. And Nairobi, Kenya, 
also has the 124 connection. And remember, Tower of Babel also has the 124 connection, which is, again, the story in the Bible that ends with Genesis 11-9, the way the majority of the world writes the date for the 11th of September, 11-9. Again, from Obama taking office to Osama being assassinated, a span of 119 weeks. He was killed in a mission named after Poseidon, which uh, equals 119. And again, the tridents were all over the World Trade Centers. Um, what's interesting is, is the way these buildings were destroyed, they looked a lot like the Oklahoma City bombing site, which was also blamed on a truck bomb. And um, from, from, well, hold on, from the date of the 95 world, or not, excuse me, the 95 Oklahoma City bombing to, to these bombings that looked very similar in terms of what happened to the buildings, notice it was 1,207 days, kind of like 9-11 buildings 1, 2, and 7. They call the site Ground Zero 127, like bombings 127. Also in 98, since this was blamed on Al-Qaeda led by... Osama bin Laden, who again was originally funded by the CIA, even part of the official story. Notice that um, they say that bin Laden on February 23rd, 98, which was the 54th day of the year. Remember, Osama would eventually be killed on his 54th day of being 54 years old. And bin Laden was also blamed for the USS Cole attack, which came 54 days after Bill Clinton's 54th birthday, who was the president at the time. But from the day that bin Laden put out his, his uh, document on, you know, his problem with the West, from the day of that to the, these bombings in 98 was a span of 166 days. Again, twin bombings of two towers. Notice how twin towers is 166, right? So from that document being put out to the bombings, 166 days. And the, the bombings also came on the 251st day of the leader of the Jesuits at the time, who was Peter Hans Kolvenbach. It matters that it was his 251st day of his age because that's the 54th prime number. And again, terrorism's 54, Jesuit orders 54, Islam's 54. Just this perfect pattern. So, again, if you've missed the work we've been doing in recent days with all the connections between OKC and 9-11, you know, go back and revisit that. So many parallels, but we're going to bring up even more here. So, the, the next event in history blamed on Al-Qaeda was the bombing of the USS Cole. And it was named after a man who was born on the 201st day of the year. And, of course, two all ones encoded all over 9-11 and all over Oklahoma City and so many other tragedies in history because it is the number of the Jesuits. But look at, look at, look at everything that they did here. So, USS Cole in Gematria... Equals 94, just like terror, right? An act of terror on the USS Cole. And notice how it also equals 41 USS Cole, just like terror is 41, just like Al-Qaeda is 41. Again, 9-11 happened on a 41-date numerology. And it happened in Aden, Yemen, which is actually another 41. Aden, Yemen, 41. The 86 is interesting because, of course, World Trade Center construction began... On August 6th of 68, anniversary of the Hiroshima bombing, which came out of the Manhattan Project, and the World Trade Centers were in Manhattan. And, of course, Ground Zero's terminology from the Manhattan Project. And as we talked about, Jennifer Flowers, her name equals 86, who's from Oklahoma City, and the building blew up in Oklahoma City on her 86th the day of her age. Number that has to do with destruction. Again, Jennifer Flowers was the bombshell affair with Clinton. He was in office when Oklahoma City and... The 98 bombing happened and the USS Cole bombing happened. Um, the USS Cole also launched on February 10th, which was the 41st day of the year for another 41. And um, again, from Bill Clinton's birthday to that attack, October 12th, 2000 on the Cole was 54 days, 54 days after his 54th birthday. You know, it's funny to think that Obama, where he was 54 days after his 54th birthday when he was president, is he was at Agenda 2030, which was the follow-up to Agenda 21, 
where all the participating nations signed off on Agenda 21 on June 13th, the day leaving 201 days left in the year. And then, of course, the coronavirus simulation, they said the silver lining of it was it helped the Agenda 21 and 2030 goals be reached. And again, Event 201, put on by Jesuits, led by Klaus Schwann. Again, bin Laden put out his document for why they needed to go after the West on the 54th day of the year, would eventually die on his 54th day of being 54 years old. If you've seen They Live, which came out 201 days after Roddy Piper's birthday, the enemy of the film is Cable 54. And then when Cable 54 blows up, the world wakes up. Um, by the way, Osama bin Laden equals 47 from his... Or from the coal attack to 9-11 was 47 weeks later. Of course, Building 7 fell hours later in the day. It was 47 floors tall. And then here's the man that the USS Cole's named after. Notice he was born July 20th, the 201st day of the year. He died in the Battle of Iwo Jima, February 19th, 1945. And um, what's interesting about that, well, there, there's a number of things that are interesting here, but Iwo Jima equals 80, right, where he died? And then the USS Cole attack was on the day leaving 80 days left in the air. And, of course, that's a Bavarian Illuminati number, which was founded by the Jesuits. But how perfect, right? The the ship's named after the man who died in the Battle of Iwo Jima. And then his ship gets attacked supposedly by Al-Qaeda, which sets off a whole new war that lasts even longer than World War One and Two combined. But um, here's the other thing that's mind-blowing about this. With regards to the 68, notice what day this the USS Cole was commissioned by the Navy. So it officially went into Navy service on June 8th, a date that can be written 6-8. And notice it also first launched on February 10th, 95, which is interesting for several reasons. That was the year of the Oklahoma City building bombing, which has more 68s coded on it than anything we've ever come across. But notice, from the day that the boat launched to the day of the Oklahoma City Bombing was 68 days later. And, and the man who the boat's named after, his full name is 68 in the most pure cipher. And again, I'll just try to remember all the 68s with Oklahoma City. Timothy McVeigh born in 68, just like the lead hijacker on 9-11, Muhammad Atta. But 68, the bombing in OKC came 68 days after the governor's birthday. It was inspired by the author who was born on September 11th, who wrote The Turner Diaries, who died at age 68. Again, the AT&T building turned 68 in Oklahoma City, overlooking the site in 95. And again, they made the emergency dialing code 911 in 68. McVeigh's trial was in Denver, which equals 68. The judge was born on June 8th. Um, Patriots Day equals 68, the, the day of the bombing. And that's the day the American Revolutionary War began. And again, that's the day in history Ignatius of Loyola became the first superior general of the Jesuits in 1541. And um, I know if I looked at the list, there's even more 68s. But uh, USS Cole launched 68 days before the attack. All the parallels between Oklahoma City and New York, which are both clearly federal cover-ups and lies. Federal cover-ups, mainstream media cover-ups. And you got the American people covering their eyes and ears because they don't want to learn anything either. But yeah, just, what are the odds? I mean, what are the odds that it, that it happened 68 days later and then it was officially commissioned on June 8th, 96? You know? And um, with regards to it launching on a date that can be written 10 slash 2, like 102, remember, 9-11 was simulated by the federal government on June 1st, 102 days before 9-11. They said the attack lasted 102 minutes. Art of War equals 102, like World Wars 102, translated by the Jesuit Father Amiot, which is the text Art of War. And again, most English translations are 68 pages. The longest paragraph, or the longest chapter is chapter 11, titled The Nine Situations, 11-9, and it's 68 paragraphs. Um, so, again, just what are the odds of... All of these things, you know, lining up so perfectly, so perfectly. Um, th this ship was attacked 52 months after it was officially commissioned. 
Terrorist equals 52. Oklahoma City, 52. Tower of Babel, 52. Again, which fits in with the whole, you know, the, the tower that divided the world, like how 9-11 divided people among religion. September 11th, 2001 came 63 months after the ship was commissioned. Terrorism is also 63. And, and then you just look at some of the other things in this boat. It talks about how its displacement is uh, 6,800 long tons, another 68. Its uh, max speed is 56 kilometers an hour, which is also 35 miles per hour. And uh, again, JFK, number 35, killed along Interstate 35. Oklahoma City, also on Interstate 35 on the 35th parallel. The big Catholic number where Catholics 35, Catholicism 68. Um, the, uh, the, the Latin motto for this ship equals 263, the 56th prime. Remember the flights that hit the towers on 9-11 and the Pentagon, flight 11, 175, and 77. They, they add up to 263, the 56th prime. The translation of the motto in English equals 127, like buildings 1, 2, and 7, which should remind you of the Navy base at Pearl Harbor that was attacked on December 7th, 127. They called 9-11 the new Pearl Harbor. They both created massive wars. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot more that can be said about all this, but... Again, from the USS Cole to the, the attacks in, in Eastern Africa, the exact same numbers coded, 68, 94, 124, and, and also the 41 like we talked about. With the boat getting launched on the 41st day of the year and having the 41 in its name. I mean, th these are astronomical odds for all these things to have the same numbers in them. And, and again, it's not just the two buildings in Africa and the USS Cole. It's also that the exact same numbers are coded in 9-11. And they all connect to terror. They all connect to terror. Okay. So, again, 201 had a lot to do with the world wars. It had a lot to do with the war on germs. It had a lot to do with 9-11. It had a lot to do with Oklahoma City. And remember, Biden and Putin met 201 days after the first Ignatian year began on Pearl Harbor Day of all days. And then the military conflict began in the Donbass region, which equals 201, which was also the big focus on April 19th again this year, Ignatius Loyola Day, Mr. 201 himself. But then 201 days, or, or, or um, yeah, 201 days after Putin's birthday, they, then he decides to cut off natural gas to Poland, who they keep doing rituals with, and um, and, and Bulgaria. And again, it really is all about energy prices. You got this Jesuit Klaus Schwab, who's the leader of the World Economic Forum, who did Event 201, who's talking about the Great Reset. Ukraine's the first nation in the world to recognize all the goals and you know aspirations of the Great Reset. But again, it all comes back to energy. So this is another energy-related ritual 201 days after Putin's birthday. And... Um, and just the way they even code out stuff, it's funny. You see how they emphasized on CNN, another provocation from the Kremlin. That equals 171, which is the 18th triangular number. Gas equals 18. So does oil. So does IHS. So does sun. You know, they call, uh, they, they say oil is the product of, you know, the sun breaking down. What, what's the word? <laughs> I can't even think of the word right now. You you know what you know what they say it is though, but just the process of the sun breaking down the organic, you know, plant matter of the earth is that there's the book about it, the the last hours of ancient sunlight about um what'll happen the day we run out of what we call fossil fuel. Um but yeah, just, you know, uh, one of the bigger headlines cuz I mean this whole uh, theater of war, it's been a snooze fest for most people. If you've been paying attention, you've seen where the media is really screwed up with their broadcasting, simulating what they want us to believe is a war. But, um, you know, it's mostly been a snooze fest, so they're trying to make this seem like a bigger thing. Oh, we cut off natural gas. and uh, Anyway, just realize it's, it's all ritual. It's all about controlling the world's people and energy, and it, it's all about these agendas that were agreed to back in the 90s.
Again, June 13th, 92, the day leaving 201 days left in the year. That's the day they signed off on. That's the day all the participating nations signed off on Agenda 21 for the 21st century. And here we are. And I, I honestly, I haven't even looked into this Darfur thing, but I just saw the headline. I was like, oh, okay, 201 people killed. Well, I know who's behind this conflict. So um, for now, just documenting. I, I got to do some more research there. And, and then again, just, you know, the other big headline that they had up today, Trevor Reed swapped for Russian pilot. And then you start to read the story. You know, just right away, Russian pilot has the same gematria as Society of Jesus. But then you know it's not an accident when you read the story and it says he's been in prison since August 15th, 2019. That's the day the Jesuits were created by Ignatius Loyola in Paris, France in 1534. So, again, it just, it's every day. If you pay attention, you'll see all the rituals are clearly Jesuit. The Jesuits control your news, your government, everything on your television, your rig sports games. And they're putting their numbers and their dates on the rituals every single day. And also interesting, from the day he was arrested to his release is 140 weeks and days later. Notice his name does have 140 in Gematria. Notice how his name is very similar to Washington. Notice how Washington is identical to Pythagoras, who's very important to the Masons. They got his name etched all over their building. Pythagoras said all his number. DC's the Masonic city. The Jesuits have been there longer than the Masons or the Feds. Modern Freemasonry, a Jesuit creation. Again, Georgetown, the Jesuit University, the first in the U.S. named after the Freemason, George Washington. But anyway, again, it's not an accident that this news comes 140 weeks later or that it started on August 15th. Again, it's the Jesuit Masonic Network. By the way, today's 158 days after Joe Biden's birthday, like 15 slash 8, like the day the Jesuits were born. Freemasonry is 158. And um, it's also 202 days after Putin's birthday today, yesterday with the him. Th so if you don't know, yesterday Putin said that he was going to cut off gas, and then today he officially cut off gas. But yesterday he made the announcement 201 days after his birthday, then today 202 days after. Remember, that's Skull and Bones has the 202 and 201 connection, but D.C. is also the 202 area code. The other day, we were just looking at how Lincoln's son died suspiciously on 20 slash 2 in history. Um, so, again, I mean, that the evidence continues to mount that all of this stuff is Jesuit. What are the odds it would be on that day, August 15th? Remember when Donald Trump's brother just kicked the bucket out of nowhere on August 15th? I do. Remember uh, when... Uh, Afghanistan's government just collapsed on the Jesuits' birthday? I do. That was the, their 487th birthday, which is the 93rd prime number. Afghanistan's the plus 93 international dialing code. And then also, Neo caught that Interstate 35. We've been talking a lot about this since I was down in Oklahoma City, just it cutting through Dallas where number 35 JFK was killed, through Oklahoma City on the 35th parallel where the bomb went boom. And also through Waco, which is what supposedly Timothy McVeigh bombed Oklahoma City over. But um, what are the odds that construction started on Interstate 35 and 56? Catholic 35, in that same cipher, Society of Jesus 56. Of course, Jesuitism's 35, Holy See 35. And like we've always said, there, there's definitely something to... You know, the roads and the interstates and the numbers put on them and the rituals that happen around them. I mean, th this might be the most clear example there is. Just JFK number 35, the first Catholic president being killed right there at Interstate 35. You know, if, if you go down there to Dealey Plaza, they have X's in the on-ramp onto Interstate 35 where JFK was shot. They have two X's on the on-ramp. One X is where he was shot in the back and then the other X is where he was shot in the head. It's part of the tourist attraction. And... <laughs> Again, it's it's just hiding the truth in plain sight, right? The, the spot where number 35 is killed is entering the interstate for Interstate 35. And most people aren't even thinking twice about it. So good catch from Neo, who was just down pound in payment with us in Dealey Plaza. That was already one week. It's crazy. That was already a week ago, man. That was the fastest week of my life. I, I guess part of it's because I spent so much time driving on the road. But <clears throat> can't believe that was already a week ago. It's too bad. I wish every day could be that day. It's good to be with the truth seekers. And, and again, 
just Fauci coming out yesterday saying the end of the pandemic for the U.S. at, at exactly 111 weeks as he tells you that you need to go out and get vaccinated and that we're going to have to continue to vaccinate to uh, prevent the next COVID pandemic. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know. Remember, in Sumerian Gematria, vaccination becomes 666. They simulate all this with Claydex exactly 666 days before they declare the pandemic. And with regards to 777 days, remember, in Jewish Gematria, order out of chaos is 777. And um, here, just to... Uh, Order out of chaos. Let me close some ciphers here. 777 in Jewish, 78 with the reverse reduction. Remember, the pandemic was declared 78 days after Fauci's birthday. Wuhan coronavirus is also 78 like Jesuit. He's Jesuit educated. You could also, again, say it was his 79th day of being 79 when they declared the pandemic. And Society of Jesus is also 79 as well as 56, just like Anthony Fauci. So... Just like coronavirus. Perfect guy to have it all synced up with. It's got the same numbers as what it was all about. So, And and that was the same day. The, the same day he announced that was the same day that Kamala supposedly tested positive for COVID despite having zero symptoms, which was 44 days after Obama tested positive number 44. Again, the two one-term senators that uh, went right to the White House. Obama in the 56th presidential election, Kamala at age 56. Where, again, Washington, D.C., Society of Jesus, Black Lives Matter, they're all 56. They painted Black Lives Matter on the streets of D.C. on June 5th, date that can be written 5-6. And uh, here, I'll just remind you another piece of history, just how the same numbers get used over and over. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan died on June 5th. Guess what his name equals? Ronald Reagan, 56. Dead on the date, can be written 5-6. And, of course, that's the day in history that Robert Kennedy was shot. His family's Jesuit, Society of Jesus 56. And remember, Robert Kennedy shot on the 156th day of the year, dead on June 6, 6, 6. His assassin, Sirhan, Sirhan. You know, so they say. Every federal cover-up's by the numbers. But, yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, to uh, share some more facts, I, I, I realized I'd never really gone back and look at the Al-Qaeda bombings in 98, and I hadn't really done any work on the USS Cole either, and I don't know why. Guess we already had enough with 9-11 to prove the case, but hey, you go back and look, you'll, you'll see that the line's even straighter than you already knew. It's even more undeniable than you already knew. And, and for one more thing, um, a, again, we got Vitamin Steve and Erica, who've launched their own little YouTube channel. And I'm sure in time they'll start doing a lot more of their own work. But unfortunately, they weren't able to be in Oklahoma City on April 19th. I think they had to work that day. But they were there two days. They were there for two days before that with us. And then they came back for Dallas on April 20th. And um, if you wonder where they got their banner from, where it says, We search for the truth, we seek justice, that's actually spray painted on the side of the Oklahoma City uh, bombing memorial. And. You know, sadly, whoever wrote that is not the people that run the museum anymore because, I mean, that's pretty much our motto, and, and they kept me off the grounds with some big threats. Um, but, yeah, make sure you're, you're going to support their channel. I mean, they're, they're truth seekers dedicated to the cause. And uh, as you can see, if you watch their video, they got, they got some uh, video editing skills, already doing good work. It seems like everybody puts my, uh, my, 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 my computer skills to shame, but... Um, yeah, I just know they're going to do good things. So both Erica and Steve got great minds. And um, again, thank you to them. And, and please do support their channel. I'm glad they're up to over 200 subscribers. But I, I think the number should already be a lot bigger. And remember to support everybody in the community. You know, everybody doing the work. Make sure you're supporting everybody. Kayla Decode Talker, Chagosi Truth. We had Yeah Right the Matrix come out. We had Fake Mike Real News. We had Rob Antico. Richard Quinn launched a YouTube channel. Just search Richard Quinn. You know. And, and of course, everybody else. Right, right now. Uh, RPM Trey Vietnam. He, he he's getting more active. He's gonna build back up his channel. Again, he he went through some major censorship issues. He came out. And um, if there's anybody else I'm forgetting. You know, hopefully somebody else brings them up, but 
Make sure you're supporting everybody in the community. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to somebody's channel. It's easy to click on a video even if you don't have time to watch it and click the like because you support the channel. It's easy to say thank you, just a quick comment. Again, just by doing all those things, clicking like, leaving a comment, it helps boost the videos and the algorithm. And for all of you guys who don't understand why Google's taking away likes and comments, they're doing it for that exact reason so that it drops the video further down in the algorithm. It, it's all part of their sick censorship system and i mean big tech has to to lie cheat and steal literally to hold us down but that's why more people you know if more people are, are fighting back essentially it's tug of war right so if you're trying to help tug for the good side you're, you're clicking the like button you're, you're sharing the video you're leaving a comment whether it's just one word or a, an emoji a thumbs up again all that stuff helps so anyway We'll leave it there for now. We got TFR tonight. We will be back for TFR tonight. Again, every Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. Next Wednesday, we'll have Chris Emery come on, who met us in Oklahoma City, who has the film A Noble Lie about the bombing. And, um, yeah, I, I think that's all for right now, True Seeker. So thank you to everyone who tuned in. And hold on, I see somebody gave a super chat, so I got to say thank you to the super chatter. One second here. Somehow they gave a super chat for 218. Let's see. Let's see. Eric F. Bear. Oh, 279 Canadian translates to 218 English. Or <laughs> English, U.S. Jesuit co-agitator put in count Jesuit helper. Uh, you're, you're saying decode this this term? Okay, let's see what you got here. 191.56 like Society of Jesus. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Appreciate the observation. Um Yeah, I think we will leave it there for now, True Seeker. Again, see you tonight, TFR, Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. And if, if you can't catch it live, you can always listen to it anytime after. Um, and don't forget, if you just want the audio version, you can listen to that at tfrlive.com as well. So, All righty. Truth and justice for you. Let's see how their subs up. All right, four more. That's what I like to see. All right. Till next time, True Seeker.